Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! I think it's the last one of the day, guys. Holy cow! I could make a career. What did he do? He died an asshole. He lived born a normal guy. Lived an asshole, died an asshole. World's only professional asshole on his tombstone. Who's going to take over the company when I die? That's the question. Are you qualified to take over interviewing asshole? Co I see you, uh, you're nice and you treat your parents kindly. Yeah, you're not qualified. Get the fuck out of here. Go to prison. Hey, you seem, you seem like a bunch of assholes. Yeah, could I could. Actually, I could probably do that. Hire a bunch of people for prison. They're more honest. They are. Hey, Captain, I've been a fan of the show for two years now, and it's about time I asked you for personal advice. I want to keep the short and sweet so it won't be too long. I'm a black male from Cleveland, Ohio, single parent household, of course. I'm in college at the University of Akron for mechanical engineering. I want to be an inventor. I'm struggling to find a job. I'm disqualified for life from the military because my mother used to abuse me. She would call the police on me and claim I beat her. Even though I didn't, <clears throat> I caught a domestic violence case at 12 and sat my 13th birthday in prison for something I didn't do. It wasn't until last year I recorded my mother cutting my little sister with a knife that she was caught on her bullshit. I have two other gigs of her abusing me and my sister. Over two gigs of data. Okay, you know what? I would see if you could get that beat in court and probably you know try to get back into the military. I know you've already tried, but maybe talk to a recruiter and try it again um, because I think they probably would understand that, especially if you have proof. So don't don't give up. You know, give it another try at the military is what I'm saying. My mom receives the checks because she says I'm disabled and takes money from the government. She doesn't want me to work. Okay, so why are you still in contact with your mom if she's tried to kill you? Matter of fact, I would cut off all things with your mother, uh, and I would cont and then um, I would report her to the authorities for welfare fraud or in this case to say, was it social security fraud? I don't know. Contact the authorities. This is not a person to be in your... your mom has tried to cut you or beat you up or has beat you up, try to cut your sister. This is someone that needs to be in jail. All right? This is a bad person. Fuck genetics. Fuck biology. Fuck blood is thicker than water. And fuck the fourth commandment or whatever it is onto thy father and mother. Fuck that bullshit that is an evil woman that doesn't give two flying shits about you guys and only views you as a meal ticket. You gotta get that person out of your life, otherwise you might end up dead or more impaired than you are now. And yes, frankly, I would like to have some of my money back if we could stop the bleeding out the fucking degenerate pieces of shit like her. Could you please report her as fraud? Could you please? <sighs> anyway, I struggle with advanced mathematics. I asked my therapist, I've been in this shit hole for my whole life for an IQ test. And they said they won't do it. Well, then go find it. Look, just because one door is closed to you because one fucking cunt won't. And I'd actually think about getting another therapist. I really would. Um, if your therapist won't give you it, go find another one. I mean, seriously, they work for fucking you. Okay? Um, and I know you may like that person, he or she. I assumed it was a woman. Uh, but that's bullshit. They're not going to give you an IQ test. So, I mean, just find someone else that will. This recruiter won't entertain you. Go talk to another recruiter. Plead your case. I mean, when I applied for the police department, they wouldn't take it because, what was it? Oh, why was it? I think I had, like, too many. I had a speeding ticket or something like that. And I said, look, come on. And they, yeah, yeah, come on. I ended up becoming one of the best people. All right, moving on. <clears throat> I struggled with advanced, uh, da, da, da. I scored a 72 on the ASVAB and a 22 ACT and graduate. It's better than what I did. I <laughs> I did shit. In graduate high school with a 2.89 GPA. That's about what I did too, yeah. So what would my IQ look like? I took over eight online Q tests and the results range from low 80s to 150. So they're not, what were you taking? I did the Queendom one and that one has kind of remained consistent. I'd try that one if it's still available. Now to the questions. Can someone like, can someone like me be a successful inventor like Edison or Tesla? All right, hold on. I'm not saying there's not a chance, but I'm saying there's not a chance, all right? And like not too long ago, like two or three videos ago, we had another, he wanted to become a doctor and he didn't, he didn't hack it. 
right? <clears throat> you are comparing yourself to two geniuses. Okay, there's been 50 billion people on the planet, 7 billion currently alive, 43 billion that have lived and died. <clears throat> you want to be compared to two who are arguably the top two brilliant geniuses out of these 50 billion. Your, your chances are magnitudes on the order of 100 times fold more likely to win the lottery than to be that level of intelligent. Okay, you're putting yourself, again, I mean, I'm not that smart. I'm not. I'm just not. And chances are you're not that smart either. So you are setting yourself up for failure. Now, Tesla died a pauper. Right? There are a lot of people who are brilliant geniuses, but they died piss poor. So just because they're geniuses and inventors doesn't mean they actually make a lot of money. Also, you don't have to be a brilliant individual to make a lot of money or be an inventor. I mean, come on. Breathe, breathe right nasal strips. How fucking hard was that? Come on. And that dipshit who started that consulting company, Asshole Consulting, how hard was that? In other words, you don't have to be a genius to be an inventor. Of course you can be an inventor. Absolutely. One of the best ways to be an inventor, a successful one, is to find something that's fucking annoying you in life. Say, God damn, motherfucking shit, the fucking tooth, the, 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 the ketchup ain't coming out. I gotta hit the fucking thing. Oh, it's right here in the 57. That doesn't fuck me. I hit the, make it the fucking knife out. And some guy said, hey, plastic squeezy tubes, upside down, big caps, stay upside down, ketchup comes out. Boom! Oh, hey, look at that. <clears throat> All right? You can become an inventor. Absolutely. You don't want to become an inventor like Tesla. You won't make money, just like Elon Musk's company isn't making money. <laughs> He's making money off of you and me like your mother is because taxpayers are paying him. <laughs> but um, you want to be like Edison. You want to be like Ford. You want to be like someone who actually makes the fucking money. So you do not have to be this insane level of genius to do it. You are smart enough. You get, you know, I got grades like I did. Um, the IQ, I go try again. I, I or get a real one, but just something... It's at 80 to 150. That's a range. Um, but we talked about your grades, and you're doing pretty well in, in college. It may be tough, but engineering's tough. That's how it is. You're getting A's and B's in engineering school. That's fucking great. You know, I know a lot of guys who got 2.5 GPAs below threes in, in college, and they're still working as engineers. Engineering is not easy. You're supposed to be challenged. So if you're if you're getting A's and B's, which would average to a 3.5, that's great. That's fucking awesome, man. I mean, you're not Edison, but you don't, you know, you're not going to go for wanting. So, um, you know, I, I think you're doing all right. So, yes, you can become an inventor, but that is not going to have anything to do with your GPA or CPA or uh, IQ or anything. I mean, you can't be a retard, which you're obviously not. That has to do with creativity and innovation and keeping a keen eye out for entrepreneurial endeavors. A keen eye. And it's a mentality I got where it's like, okay, I can make money on that. Can I make money on that? A lot of this, if you can if you can grow some beard. If you don't have it, start practicing now. That's how great entrepreneurs. And a whiteboard, if you got it, that's another little... Little tidbit of advice for you get a whiteboard. Don't get a whiteboard. But do have this. This is more important than being Edison or Tesla. My idealist. I write my ideas down. If I come up with an idea, I jot it down. And then I go home and I type it out. And I carry it, fold it up, and I put it in my wallet. So in case another idea hits me, I write it down. That is how you're going to become an entrepreneur and an, an inventor. Not by getting a high IQ or getting a degree necessarily in mechanical engineering. Uh, I know that blacks and those from African descent have overall less IQ than other demographics such as white and yellows. <laughs> I've never heard of called yellows. That's awesome. I got to use that just to piss off all the right people. I read The Bell Curve and watched Stefan Nolan. All right. Well, you're aware of it, but truthfully, um, you're not. We could talk IQ all day and we could talk your ACT and what your actual IQ is. You could score it. But right now, your, your practical IQ, what you're actually delivering in the real world, in school with A's and B's, it's high. It's good. It's good enough. So I don't think this applies to, even though you may be black, and, and, and statistically speaking, blacks have lower IQs on average, and blah, blah, blah. We could talk about that. But as it pertains to you, I don't think that affects you right now. I think 
you're on the on the higher side of the IQ and it doesn't matter what your score is you're just smart enough that's all that matters are you smart enough to do what you want to do and become an engineer I think so you're doing good and then also to become an inventor you don't need a IQ of 130 you, you just you just need to be smart fuck these what was it some broads came in they definitely did not have an IQ of 100 they weren't no geniuses and they just came up with something stupid and every fucking woman bought it. I mean, it, you don't have to be a judge. So don't worry about your race. Don't worry about your IQ. As you are performing in the real world, it's proof positive you're making it and you have the capacity to do it. I question my intellectual ability in engineering. I feel so inferior to other students. But we talked about that and you're, you're kind of even on the higher end compared to your peers. You talk about guys in algebra getting 14%. Well, you're way above that. I don't want to be a crybaby victim. I know I need to man the fuck up, but it's hard. Yeah, dude, um, your, your, your complaints are legitimate because it's hard and you don't know where you are, but that's, again, why I asked you where you were performing relative to your peers. And you should always be concerned. Is this good enough? Am I able to do it? Now, unlike the other guy who tried to get into med school, he couldn't. He did not have the capacity to do it. All right? You, I don't think you're wasting your time in engineering. Okay? Now, I don't think you hit Calc 2 yet. Um, that will kind of be the test. But yeah, don't worry, man. Just because it's hard doesn't mean you're failing. Uh, always kind of ask your peers. Ask your peers for help. You could have a shitty teacher. You could have had shitty pe teachers in the past. Lord knows almighty, you've had issues in the past and had to deal with things, so you're probably coming from a disadvantage. But as it seems to me right now, you, you are cautiously optimistic and you're questioning yourself, as you should. Make sure you're not wasting your time. But, dude, you're, you're doing good. You're, and at any time you think you're not doing good, ask yourself, how am I doing with your peers? You know what? Go right up to your professor. Say, hey, look, prof, I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time. How am I? That's right there. Go to the source. Go talk to your professors. You know, be honest. Am I cutting it here or what? Because I don't want to waste my time going to engineering if I can't do it. Compared to the other students, am, I mean, do I? Am I producing enough work? That guy's going to answer your question much more directly and much more pertinently to, to what I can. I can only go off of numbers, logic, okay, how you're against your peers, what you've told me. You write intelligently. You know, I guess if you had a real IQ test, you're coming in 115, 120. Uh, but again, that's moot. Talk to your engineering professors. Ask them, hey, should I, should I continue down this path or what? And please be honest with me because I don't want to waste my time. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I don't want to waste any time. And, then, and they will. So, and then if they say, hey, no, no, dude, then you're going to sleep soundly at night. And the guy's like, dude, yeah, you're, you're not going to, you, you got you to gotta boost it up. Then you boost it up. And if the guy says, no, nah, dude, you, you can't, you know, we just, we just don't want to hurt your feelings. But yeah, it doesn't look like you're going to cut it. Then you try your hardest. Or not to say you're not now, but you really try it and you still can't cut it. Hey, you know what? At least you know you can't do it. And now you got to go try something else. But you're not there yet. You're not there. So please, talk to a professor. Get an inventory. Ask and tell them up front. Don't say, hey, what do you think? Should I? Oh, yeah, you can. Well, whatever. Rub on the head. Go away now. Just give me high marks. Tell them, look. I need an honest assessment because I really want to know if I'm going to waste my time or not. And they will tell you. So anyway, best of luck. I don't think you're going to need it. And, uh, and try not to be so hard on yourself. Best of luck. Toodles.